Hey everyone, it's HHO for all. Just want to show you this um, stainless steel two inch spacer dry cell concept. Um, what I did was I ended up cutting out shower pan liner, um, two inches outer diameter, one and three quarters inch inner diameter. Um, just goes like this on top of each washer. Then the washer goes on top of the next and on to the next and on to the next and so on. And um, you end up getting yourself a nice little stack like this. Um, I've only got 10 of these uh, two inch washers, so I need to order some more um, before I can really have a good test on this to see what the output is going to be. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to really judge off of 10, uh, 10 of these washers whether it's going to be good enough output to, to even consider it. But um, the other thing is um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to notch out on each one of these um, <clears throat> on each one of these washers. Uh, you can see the little red marks here. Um, going to cut this out on each one so that I can hook up one of these connectors on the washers. And um, the great thing about this is that uh, since I'm going to have it on each one of the washers, I can pick and choose what my configuration is. So I can plug the connectors and the electrodes wherever I want to plug them, and um, and it gives me a lot of freedom, a lot a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of uh, opportunity to play around with different configurations and. You know, then that way, you know, I'm I'm not stuck with uh, having to take apart the fuel cell every single time that I want to try a different direction. So uh, I think that that's going to be good in itself. And then um, the other thing is how you keep the whole fuel cell together. Um, you get yourself a cutting board, and what I've done is I've cut out uh, a three and a half by three and a half top and bottom, and drilled out the center and put a hose barb on there. This is a half inch hose barb. And um, you're going to do the same thing with the bottom, which you're going to use for your um, water refill. And you'll end up drilling out four holes, one on each corner, and you're going to feed a bolt through there. Um, I've got uh, four inch bolts. And you just feed them through, and you tighten up the nut on the bottom, and you get yourself a pressure fit. You get a um, pressure fitting with all of these gaskets that you have on each washer and it'll seal it up so that way you don't have any leaks and you tighten it up enough and uh, you should be good to go and shouldn't have any problems with leaks but um, you never know but that's it this is uh, this is the concept for the stainless washer dry cell so uh, leave me some comments let me know what you think it's been HHO for all. I'm out.